So welcome to Business Finland's discussion on changing the face of international trade, sustainability, climate change, and clean tech in Finland. My name is Megan Williams. I'm with Business Finland, specifically Invest in Finland in the United States. I've been with Business Finland for approximately uh, two and a half years and have been working in the clean tech, biocircular economy, and battery manufacturing sectors. So, um, but for this session, I will be focusing on um, the clean tech aspect. So before we dive into clean tech, um, I just want to talk about a few facts about Finland that some of you may or may not know. Um, Finland's population is 5.5 million. So not a huge country, but they have a huge footprint. Um, the capital is Helsinki. Neighboring countries are Sweden, Norway, Russia, and Estonia. Finland found its independence in 1970 uh, and has credit rankings, as you can see listed here. Um, they operate with a multi-party democracy. They became members of the European Union in 1995. They currently operate on the euro. And something important to look at and to remember is their corporate tax rate. Their corporate tax rate is at 20%. Um, and in comparison to other countries uh, within the EU, this is relatively low. So when I talk more about, you know, the business opportunities and opportunities in Finland overall, uh, the 20% tax rate is something definitely to keep in mind. Uh, business languages. So Finnish. Um, and then also they have English and Swedish are also very operational in the country. Finland tops work-life balance. So um, again, four key points to also remember. They're number one in the availability of childcare and education. They're number one in the happiest country in the world for the fourth consecutive year number one in family well-being, and also number one in the quality of education. So if you take away anything from this presentation, um, really remember that this is a country that has really um, built um, its people up to live a very well-balanced um, life. They have great education. And again, it's a lot, um, it's a very positive thing to say when you can boast that your country is the happiest country in the world for four years straight. Now let's take a look at uh, climate change and clean tech and how it all relates. So responding to the climate, to the challenge of climate change, contributing to the transformation of the energy sector. Finland has long been a leader uh, in preserving the environment. Uh, this can often be seen in its clean tech sector. 80% of Finns called for the immediate need for uh, climate change solutions. A third of the country's land is in the Arctic Circle. And so the rising temperatures um, have really started to melt uh, the permafrost and cause sea levels to rise. So this is very much in the forefront of Finns' minds that, you know, there needs to be some solutions to this whole climate change challenge. The next slide is just, I wanted to share uh, this quote about Finns. So clean thinking runs in Finland's genes and sustainability is second nature to Finns. Finland is rich in natural resources, such as forests, lakes, and minerals, as well as extremely skilled clean tech professionals. Finland is one of the greenest countries in the world and is the perfect position to drive sustainable development globally. So what are Finland's goals? There are a lot of goals um, that Finland has, but specifically, you know, solving the global climate change and sustainability challenge is becoming a very important topic. It's important in Europe as a whole, but particularly to Finland. Finland has the passion and know-how to combat these challenges. As I mentioned in a slide previously, you know, 
Finland, the way the where the country is positioned, they see what's happening in the Arctic and they understand that this is of imperative importance to really look at what's happening globally and to find solutions. Further, when we look at the European Union, they recently published a Green Deal. This initiative um, has been very much supported by the Finnish government and Finland committed to become carbon neutral by 2035, which is 15 years earlier than the European Union's target of 2050. So the Green Deal, um, as I mentioned, Europe's goal is to be carbon neutral by 2050. The Green Deal is a new growth strategy and its plan is to make the EU's economy sustainable. So it wants to look at what's happening with climate change and the environment and create these into opportunities. And this is exactly what Finland aims to do through partnering with other countries. And I'm gonna mention, you know, partnerships have actually taken place in the United States where they are, you know, promoting the green economy. Through Finland's partnerships with the states, they currently have memo memos of understanding no, excuse me, memorandums of understanding um, with the states of Maine and Michigan. And what they're doing is they're trying to create lasting cooperation in crucial sectors, such as clean tech, um, smart mobility, sustainable bioeconomy. Okay. Further, you know, let's take a, a look at the Paris Agreement. Finland's also very much aligned with the Paris Agreement policy of combating climate change. The Paris Agreement has also an aggressive agenda to avoid dangerous climate change by eliminating global warming to well under two Celsius and limit it to 1.5 Celsius. So what does that mean? This means it aims to strengthen countries' ability to deal with the impacts of climate change and support all countries' effort in dealing with climate change challenges. So what are some of the government initiatives? Again, as I mentioned, you know, in order for Finland to get to um, where it's going with the climate change challenge, with its ener clean tech energy sector, they have the backing of their government. The government has specifically put um, legislation in place to support these efforts. And this is key. This is going to be key to Finland really reaching that goal of becoming carbon neutral by 2035. Further, through government support, Finnish power generation is already at 85% emissions free. So a mix of nuclear and renewables, and the share is growing quickly with massive wind capacity production. Finland has banned the energy use of coal by 2029 and is providing energy companies with initiatives for investments to replace coal by 2025. So the use of oil and heating will be phased out by 2030. So again, you know, with the government support, it's really pushing towards this carbon neutrality and really setting the pace to be carbon neutral by 2035. So let's take a deeper dive and look at the renewable energy sector. As I mentioned, to become carbon neutral in 15 years, Finland will cut back on logging investments and try to reduce its dependency on fossil fuels and peat. It will also continue to invest in renewable energy, including wind, solar, and bioenergy and heating, and transport will be electrified. Currently, Finland operates um, one of the largest peat-fired power plants in the world, local, located in Oulu. So energy transition, Finland ensures the best available expertise in use of energy and data, okay? 
So the majority of Finland's population lives in cities and towns. And so with that, cities and communities use as much energy, uh, as, much energy as industry. So again, some key facts, and, and you're gonna see some of these facts again in some later slides, but I wanna also emphasize the importance of these facts when it comes to Finland's energy sector. So electricity produced with renewable sources constitutes around 50% of the total electricity production, okay? Point two, the Finnish electricity system is among the most advanced in the world. Smart grids in Finland have the lowest transmission losses in the world and many smart grid functionalities, load profiling, real-time billing, and distributed power generations are already implemented. Further, Finland ranks near the top with respect to many energy saving measures and the efficiency of energy use. The majority of the Finnish clean tech business value comes from energy efficiency related technologies. So again, world-class expertise in energy data. As I mentioned in the previous slide, Finland has extremely stable electricity grid with minimal losses. It has one of the most advanced smart grids in the world. Um, as I mentioned about the smart grid functionalities. Also important to note is the international open test beds. And please make note of this because later on I will talk about these test beds because they're very, very important um, to Finland and the international and international cooperation. Okay. It has connectivity, data analytics, and AI piloted ecosystems and quickly adopted to power market. It has a high level of cooperations and platforms where data is shared and challenges solved together. Platforms like Smart Altenemy, Energy Wise Cities, Cura Hub, Platform of Trust, and Kiko Ecosystem. So what are Finland's strongholds? We talked about the smart gener energy generation. We talked about smart grids. There's also smart buildings. We mentioned the IoT AI digitalization, district heating, and then you have batteries from Finland. So these all make up the smart energy program. You'll also notice to the right, they have several test beds. They include Vasa Test Hub, Smart Altenemy, and Olin Islands. We're gonna take a deeper dive at, and take a look at the Smart Altenemy um, test bed and how that works. So as I mentioned, the Smart Altenemy test bed is one of the biggest test beds that Finland operates. Open innovation and piloting platform companies wishing to develop their solutions and services are able to utilize this test bed. So experts, you know, companies, researchers are able to bring their technologies to Finland and really test them out in a real uh, environment to see what works. They're able to communicate and exchange ideas with others um, while testing their technologies. So Finland really prides itself on its test beds and the technology coming out of those test beds. Working together in ecosystems. So Finland doesn't do all of this on its own. The Finnish way of doing things is all about collaboration. And again, this is key. And when we think about climate change and climate solutions, this is not one country, this is not one individual, this is a, collect, a collection of countries, experts, researchers, technologies that are really brought together to come up with solutions in climate change, with clean technology, with sustainability. And this is also important to remember, and Finland prides itself on that. International collaboration. As I mentioned previously, uh, Finland prides itself on working with others. And you'll see that a lot with its international collaboration and also what Finland has to offer um, to other countries, other um, businesses, if they work with Finland. So what is the role? They have funding funding for both ecosystem projects and the development of smart solutions for individual companies, building networks with international and academic communities. 
again, this is very important. I had mentioned earlier that we um, had established two MOUs with, um, within the United States in Michigan and Maine. Those MOUs were started out with you know, the academic world. You know, professors, postgraduates, um, researchers were able to exchange ideas um, with other academics within Finland and talk about the technology, talk about where the technology is going, really build on this um, cooperation. Okay. I also talked about the test beds, you know, utilizing those test beds, uh, Smart Ultimate, Olin Islands, Boston Business Hub. Okay. Then you have company interface and a global presence. So before I end our conversation, I also want to talk about the position of Finland. If you choose to do business with Finland, Finland is really strategically placed. If you work in the test beds, if you create a subsidiary, if you um, do academic exchanges, you are so close to other countries. Not only will you have, you know, a very tech, tech savvy um, population in Finland and a great market, but you'll also be able to travel back and forth to other parts of the world fairly fast. As you can see on the lower uh, left hand side, you see flight times. You can be in the United States, New York, eight hours and 45 minutes. You can be pretty much anywhere in Europe in two hours and 40 minutes being the max amount of time in Europe. And then Asia, you can get to Asia in uh, eight to 11 hours. Again, really strategically placed for doing business, not only within Finland, but with other parts of the world. So with that, I want to welcome everyone to Finland. Uh, Finland has a world-class technology ecosystems brain power for service and product innovation. They're a forerunner in climate change and sustainability solutions. They have well-educated, self-driven, creative problem solvers. It, of course, the international cooperation is always encouraged and they have strong innovation and support by their government. Again, all key facts in how Finland is continuing to be successful and they welcome you to join in that success. Thank you. <laughs>